this, it's a tattoo. I've been looking into some options for my problem. Problem? You mean your cat too. I've been talking to my neighbor Hawking. He has a theory about another option. Time travel. Time travel. You have a hard enough time traveling to the bathroom. That was just that one time. You have to hear him explain it. This ought to be good. Hey, Hawking. What's up, Cat 2? Tell Big Kenny what you told me. Come on down to my lab and I'll explain it to you. Did he just call his basement a laboratory? Where'd your shirt go? Hey, we allowed to eat seeds in here? No eating in the laboratory. Alrighty then. It is commonly known that there are three dimensions within the realm in which we exist. Height, width, and depth. This forms a box. However, there are several other dimensions. Time being the fourth. That's what's inside this junction box. The slowest of all masses that travel at near light speed creates gravitation, thus curving the surface of the continuum. Offsetting electrons can manifest a Rosen bridge, otherwise known as a wormhole. Using quantum mechanics and strong magnetic forces on an ounce of water, you can manipulate the balance of electrons and cause a reaction. This enables us to tap into the space-time continuum by using our junction box. Well, that's all well and good, but the true test is if time travel actually is possible, why haven't we met a time traveler yet? Maybe they have. Some people just don't know what to look for. And that is? It all happened one day when I was just a kid. I was minding my own business, playing with my truck, when out of nowhere, this freaking dog appears in a fenced-in backyard. But this was no ordinary dog. Aside from its obvious magic ability, I noticed something weird around its neck. A stopwatch. Just as quickly as it appeared, it was gone. It wasn't until just recently that I figured out what it all meant. So because you think you saw a dog with a stopwatch on his neck, naturally, it's from the future. It's a future dog! Well, when you say it like that, it sounds less likely. But I know what I saw, and I know what it meant. So you're saying that scientists should have been paying more attention to the dogs. Forget about it then. You know, you should have gotten a future dog tattoo instead. But tattoo definitely sounds better. Yeah, tattoo definitely sounds better.
Hey, mister, can I touch your beard? 